What's going on, YouTube fam? It's your boy, Dax, and we are about to break down Atlanta Falcons coordinators. We got defense coordinator, Dean Pease. We got offensive coordinator, uh, Dave Ragone. And then we got Marquise Williams, special teams coordinator. Uh, all new guys that the Falcons have hired. They've gotten rid of all of their other coordinators. Arthur Smith brought in his own people. Um, so I'm going to break it down for you, and I'm going to let you guys know what I'm hearing, what I think, and, um, you know, how I feel about the future of the Atlanta Falcons, okay? Um, so, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into it. Now, I might have to break this up so that the video don't get too long because Dean Pease gave us a lot of info and some juicy info, all right? So, uh, let's go ahead and jump on into that. First and foremost, before I get to... The defensive coordinators, I want to give a special, special, special congratulations to Pat DeMarco, um, one of the best fullbacks I've had a chance of actually being able to watch. And um, man, Pat DeMarco was with the Falcons for a long time. I was real bummed out when uh, Pat DeMarco went to Buffalo, but he had a good career in Buffalo as well. He announced his retirement yesterday. So congratulations, Pat DeMarco, and we wish you all the best, and hopefully we can hear his voice in a booth. All right, so let's go ahead and jump on into Dean Pease. All right, so Dean Pease has been around the league and has been around football for a long time. Um, Dean Pease, now I'm, I'm going to give you a little bit of a backstory as to what coaches that Dean Pease has worked under, okay? He's worked under Saban twice. He's worked under John Harbaugh, of course, Mike Vrabel, as we know, Lou Holtz, okay, uh, Bill Belichick. So we got some legendary coaches that Dean Pease has worked under. Now, one thing that Dean Pease is very, very adamant about is the fact that he loves defense and he loves his job. I don't care about anything else. I just want to be a defensive coach. And I love the fact that I get to scheme against offenses and it's fun for him drawing up things that he feels like, you know, the offense has to react to what, you know, reacting to, excuse me, let me, bounce, let me go back, reacting to what the offense puts on the field, all right? So he likes that kind of stuff. And I like the fact that I'm hearing that come out of his mouth, right? But I mean, of course, because he's going to be coaching the Atlanta Falcons, he's going to be coaching the defense. He said that the uh, things that he likes about this Falcons defense is the fact that they're tough, they're physical, they're smart, and they like to hit. These kids are fast, all right? He said they're fast, they like to hit. That's my favorite part about it, and I like that because it's true. But we've just never had anybody to be able to coach these guys the way that they were supposed to be coached, right? So one of the things that he says is when you go out on the field and you get burnt, all right, you need to come to the sideline and you look at coach like, OK, I need an answer. What is it that we need to do to get to the next level? He said, you got to have an answer. And I like that. I like the fact that the, the guys will be able to go to him and say, hey, look, this is this ain't working. You know, And he's like, OK, cool. Let's move this here. Do this, do this, do this. All right. Another thing that stood out to me and that I absolutely love is he had a few quotes. All right. And I wrote them down here in my book. Every position will blitz, okay? Every position will blitz. We are coming from everywhere, and I want them to have to account and worry about where we're coming from and have to account for everyone. I love that. I love that because Dean is a blitzing guy, and it's put pressure on the quarterback, okay? Everybody, when you go, you know, and I, and I break this down later, this Super Bowl game that we got, everybody loves to say you put, you put pressure on Brady and Brady shut down. You put pressure on, if you can put pressure on the quarterback, you will be successful, all right? So as for scheme, he said, we like to be multiple. And I like to have my defense in multiple, simple in the back, multiple in the front. All right. So three, four, four, three, three down linemen, four down linemen, four linebackers, three linebackers, switch it up depending on who you're playing, what offense you're going against, what their, go what their threats are. You know, do you need more linebackers to be able to get out to the flat and cover, you know, like whatever the case may be. So I love the fact that it's not just one base defense of, oh, we're running four, three. 
That's what we do constantly and we don't change it up. I like that. And some people ask before you even hit me up and ask me, can Grady Jarrett play the nose? Absolutely. Grady Jarrett can play the nose. All right. And I think for a fact, not only can Grady Jarrett play two technique and nose or two technique and zero, Grady Jarrett can play outside if you really wanted him to. Grady Jarrett is fast for his for his size. All right. So um, then they asked him, they said, coach, why you come out of retirement? Right. He said, I really missed the game. And all these coaches that I'm going to talk about today will all tell you the same thing. OK, I believe in and I respect Arthur Smith. That was the number one thing that Dean P said. I came back in this for Arthur. I came back in this because I love the Falcons. I love their organization. And Arthur Blank is one of the most amazing people I've met. But I came back in this thing for Arthur Smith because Arthur Smith is a, is a, is a friend of mine that I believe in and that I know that I could coach behind. And so with that uh, um, relationship that he has with Arthur Smith, it has enabled him to be able to take that step from wanting to retire and step away from the game to come back and help a friend. Right. He's a two time Super Bowl champion. And he talked about when he had Ray Lewis and Terrell Suggs on that Ravens defense, that nasty Ravens defense. Right. When they played down in New Orleans and they played against Colin Kaepernick and the 49ers, it was a wild game. And everybody knows if you remember, that's the game that the lights went out at the Super Bowl. Right. So he talked about how that season they lost Ray Lewis and Terrell Suggs for like eight, maybe seven to eight games. All right. And the thing is, is he had a plan and you have to be able to continue to run your defense when your main guys go down. And that's something that the Atlanta Falcons haven't been able to do in a long time is continue to put you on your back when the guys that are your main guys aren't on the field. And that's big. That stood out to me as well. OK, so not only. Multiple, simple in the back, multiple up front. Um, you know, he's had the flexibility is that goes back to kind of what I was just talking about with the whole, you know, Ravens thing and, you know, stuff like that. He learned a lot from Bill Belichick, too, as to, you know, how to approach the game in different situations and having a game plan that you've worked all year or I mean, all week long on. And then you just can't. Do it because it's just not working. And in the middle of the game, you've got to come up with something different that says, you know what? We're going to just completely throw all of that out. And here's what we're going to do from now on. That is something special. And it causes for a special coach to be able to do something like that. All right. Um, so um, he's big on playing to player strengths. Um he likes to practice against. Now, this is something um, he said that one thing that he loved about Arthur Smith was that him and Arthur would sit down together and Arthur would say, hey, look, I need you to run these coverages and these blitzes and stuff like that so I can get the offense ready for this. Or I need you to run this and this and this so that I can get the defense ready for this. Playing and practicing against each other, iron sharpens iron, is the most important thing when it comes to something like this. So the fact that um, they have that connection and that's the whole reason why he came back to the league anyway, that was amazing. Um, and I like the I like the fact that he that he was able to, you know, you know, put that out there. Um, so he says he learned from Nick Saban and this is this is in his words. He learned from Nick Saban. Do whatever you have to do to stop the other team. OK, now that seems very simple. And you're going to be like, OK, yeah, that's the object of defense. I, I get it. But at the same time, do whatever you have to do to win the game, to stop the other team, to make sure we don't lose. And if we know anything about Nick Saban, Nick Saban knows how to win. So if I'm a Falcons fan. I'm thinking this is an excellent, excellent hire that we need for this team to be able to grow and, and, and use this defense to the top of its abilities. You've got fast, physical, tough players like Deion Jones and Keanu Neal, A.J. Terrell, 
Grady Jarrett. You've got fantastic Foye Aluakon. You've got fantastic players on this defense that have a nose for knocking people's heads off. But they just need somebody to say, this is the plan. This is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to execute it. And I love that. Um, he said they can hit, they can run, and I love that. And he got he got fired up about it, you know. Um, so I like that. And he said, you know, there's one thing that's about me, and if you, you know, it doesn't really matter. You know, some people like, oh, okay, whatever, it doesn't matter to me. One thing about Coach Pease is he's never been fired. Never. He's been on multiple teams. He's worked for multiple coaches. He's never been fired. He's always moved on to a better opportunity for him and his family and stuff like that. So in my opinion, as Arthur Smith, there's no other there's no other other way that you can say that you could have hired anybody better. Let me know what you think. Hit me up on Instagram. Hit me up on